Hey everyone, Andy here, and we're out doing a little hike in the snow here. And uh, we're gonna be setting up a four season tent. And the four season tent is from Sierra Trading Post to um, just try out, review it, see if it's a good tent. So thank you Sierra Trading Post, thank you Chris. And um, definitely be sure to check out their website, great discounts. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and set this up. We got some pretty good snow here. It's currently snowing. All right, so here's the tent without the rain fly on. I guess you call it a snow fly. This is for the vestibule. My hands are just frozen right now because I can't put it on with my gloves. But yeah, it's got two vestibules here, one in the back, one in the front it looks like. Some ventilation. I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, fly on. One thing that I really like about this is you know, it's not a single wall, it's a double, so there's a fly that goes over top of this. So basically the next morning, you know, when you're taking your poles off, they're not frozen solid from the snow sitting on it. So I do like how these poles are underneath the fly. All right, so you can see it all set up right here. This is a two-person marmot. I'll leave the uh, specs down below. But um, it takes a good amount of time to set up probably took me like 20 minutes so should because I use stakes this time and not the dead man anchors just because there's not enough snow in the ground here Let's see I also used a rock because I broke three uh, stakes because the ground is just frozen solid but um yeah let's do a little walk around lots of die out points to use for uh, when you're above tree line like you got one here 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 right here here there's guy lines everywhere on this thing and it, it has so many little adjustment points like um you know on the guy out points where the stakes are it's got two vestibules this one back here is super small but um you know i could see like putting a backpack in there and um there's actually a, a door there too so you could go through that route um, you can also see the um, ventilation. There's a uh, ventilation here and one on that side too. And um, here's the front vestibule here. It's pretty neat. It has this uh, little window here. And uh, man, it is cold out here. But yeah, it's got a little window and some more guy out points. This thing's going to be great for above tree line. I'll tell you that it's going to be difficult to set up in the wind. And um, especially because you take your, have to take your gloves off typically and your hands are just frozen. So let's go in the vestibule here. This door rolls up like most tents. Here's the vestibule. Alright, so... I think it's on a day hike today. We wanted to try this tent out. But, um, I got lots of blankets because it's pretty cold out. I'm actually going to close this vestibule here. So you can see the little window. Kind of neat. But yeah, the vestibule's pretty big. And when you're in deep snow, you could actually dig out this area. And it, um, you know, you can hang out, hang out in it. Use, your, use it for a kitchen or something. Here's the inside here. You can see the um, ventilations. It's pretty well ventilated. Ventilation on this side, and you can access the zipper from in here to open up the um, ventilation. Same with on this side too. And um, you can close these off, these screens. So this is a double wall tent. But um, you can undo this and zip this up. So this is totally enclosed same with back here this is where the um, other vestibule is and you can also close this off like that I don't know why you'd want to just because you kind of want a good amount of ventilation in the winter time so it doesn't produce condensation but also we got pockets up here, we got some D-rings, 
on the four corners so you could make a little you know put some cordage up there and you have your uh um you know clothesline to dry your stuff for it to be frozen in the morning typically you also have a little carabiner up here for um you can hang your bear bag <laughs> now uh hang a little lantern here or something it's kind of neat and also great storage it's got two pockets here two on this side and uh, the one pocket up above so it has quite a bit of room but yeah that's um, just an overview of this tent I'll leave all the specs down below uh, Barkley and I are just going to hang out and uh, just enjoy the rest of our day so yeah if you guys have any questions feel free to comment below and um, also thank you Sierra Trading Post for letting me try this tent because this thing's going to be very useful when I camp in above tree line and I can say that it has a ton of guy up points which is nice because you can feel safe in your tent but yeah I will catch you guys next time thank you again Sierra Trading Post go check them out guys and uh, thank you Go exploring. <laughs>